following video may contain triggering content. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh boy, here they come. Watch out! Hello everyone and welcome to Spill the Tea, where we tell the dirty secrets about your favorite celebrities. And on this second episode, we got two evil celebrities. Yeah, starting with Ed Gale. You mean Chucky himself. Yes, he was the guy in the good guy's doll suit, aka Chucky, in the Child's Play horror movies. Hi, I'm Chucky. Ed Gale was born August 23rd, 1963, is a retired American actor and stunt performer who appeared in films and television series primarily between 1986 and 2013. He was born in Plainwell, Michigan and graduated from Battle Creek Central High School. His debut was as Howard as the title character of the Howard the Duck film in 1986 while Chip Zian did the voice. Gail was the actor in the duck suit throughout the film. In 1988, he played Chucky in the horror film Child's Play. He went on to appear in two more films in the franchise. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history. Hi, I'm Chucky. I'm Chucky. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play? I like to He played Dinosaur Tasha and Magus in the television series Land of the Lost in 1991. Also in 1991, he played one of the characters, Station, in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Bogus! Oh, this is no time to be playing games! In 2003, he had a role as the uncle to Matthew McConaughey and Gary Oldman's characters, Uncle Bobby Barry, in the show Tiptoes. Ed Gale appeared in a minor role in the popular American television sitcom, My Name is Earl, the episode entitled Little Bad Voodoo Brother, aired in 2006. And it featured Gale as a carnival performer named Little Eddie. In 1994, The Jungle Book, he was the character suit for Baby Baloo. Hi, In 2000, he was in the movie with George Clooney, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? He played Homer Stokes' servant, Little Man. She's a player. Yeah. Abby O'Donnell, they going to enter it. Homer Stokes, soy of the Little Man. Ain't that right, little brother? He ain't lying. And ladies and gentlemen, the Little Man has admonished me to grasp the broom, a reform, and sweep this state clean. It's gonna be back to the flour mill, Pappy. The interest can take care of itself. 
In 2023, Ed Gale was accused by a group of online predator hunters going by the name Creep Catchers Unit of attempting to solicit sex from multiple minors, one male among whom he alleged to believe to be aged 14 years. I mean, look at every page. It says dripping out of the shower naked. I mean, if you just you just grab a piece of page and you look through it, a naked pic of me, right? Talking about naked stuff with a kid. You grab another page, look at this. I also know you're still a virgin. Are you gay? Like, do you think this is appropriate to talk to a kid like this? If I grab every single, like, well, yeah, because I'm literally grabbing random pages just to show you an example of how graphic this chat is. Because you committed two felonies today. Do you understand that? Yes. Communicated with a minor online sexually. Yes. Can we agree on that? Did you talk sexually to a minor online, yes or no? Yes. That's a felony. Yes. Me having a meeting with this kid, inviting him over to your apartment to continue to do these sexual acts is illegal. Two felonies. Yes. He had his smartphone seized by the Los Angeles Police Department during a home visit on April the 19th, but was at the time neither charged nor taken into custody. As of April 21st, he remains under investigation by the LAPD and the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. In 1986, him and our next evil human was in this movie called Howard the Duck. The next evil man actually liked when I was growing up. He turned out to be a disgusting creeper pedo. I'm talking about Jeffrey Jones. You mean Mr. Dietz from Beetlejuice? Mr. Rooney from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Yes, that's the same guy. Jeffrey Duncan Jones, born September 28, 1946, is an American character actor best known for his roles as Joseph II in Amadeus in 1984, Charles Dietz in Beetlejuice 1988, and Edward Rooney in Ferris Bueller's Day Off 1986. Dr. Skip Tyler on The Hunt for Red October in 1990, Eddie Bazarion in The Devil's Advocate 1997, A.W. Merrick in both Deadwood 2004 to 2006 and the movie in 2019. In 1999, he played Reverend Steenwick in Sleepy Hollow, and he also was in Stuart Little as Uncle Crenshaw Little. Jones was arrested in 2002 for possession of child pornography and soliciting a 14-year-old boy to produce sexual explicit images between September 2000 and May 2001. Jones photographed the child and paid him to pose nude on multiple occasions wearing a cowboy hat with stuffed animals and dressed as a Native American. Jones surrendered himself and was released on bond prior arrangement. Jones pled not guilty to the possession charge and no contest to a charge of soliciting a minor. The victim initiated a separate civil action against Jones seeking damages and compensation. The misdemeanor charge of possession of child pornography was dropped following the no contest plea. His attorney emphasized that there was no allegation of improper physical contact his punishment was five years probation, counseling, and the requirement to register as a sex offender. Jones was arrested twice for fall, failing to update his sex offender status, first in Florida in 2004 and six years later in California. Jones pled guilty to the felony charges in California, receiving a 250-hour community service sentence and an additional three years of probation. In 2006, Jones' record came the subject of a community complaint during production of Who's Your Caddy in Alakin, South Carolina. Upon learning of his involvement, locals insisted that the public should have been altered considering that the families were being invited to visit the set. 
2024, he is a registered sex offender that lives in California and he will no longer be in any movies. Did you see the trailer for Beetlejuice 2? Wonder whose funeral that was. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoy the show. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Until next time, don't forget to wipe up that tea.